time now for the mix. And when you were a kid, did you have like a, a little playhouse? No, I always wanted a tree house. You wanted a tree house, all right. Nice. No well, tree so, in the backyard makes it kind of hard. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a little bit Small difficult. Challenge. But here's the deal. There are some kids, I'd say more opulent kids, that can now get some ridiculously expensive and elaborate playhouses. There's a company in, in uh, Denver that's called La Petite Maison. Hmm. So that's one of the playhouses. Wait, that's not the actual house? That's not the actual house, but it's almost like the price of some actual houses. The playhouses can cost anywhere from $9,000 to $75,000. They're custom-made houses. You can have <laughs> Cape Cod-type play. Uh, playhouses Are for those these power kids. Lines? Like that's like a real size house. Yeah, some of them actually have running water inside. Wow. It's it's insane. So it is now available for many kids. It features kitchens that can have the one running water by request. I you mean, can go in there and cook up a little meal. Doesn't these that negate the whole play part of the equation? Well, they're playing house in an actual house. In an actual house. Not a lot house. of playing pretend involved in there, is there? You know, yeah. my cousin actually babysat for a girl who had one of these back yeah. in the day. You know what her favorite game was? What? Tag. Tag was her <laughs> favorite like, game. like, oh, I'm good with the big, Did that, not that house is nice. Did not care at all about her playhouse that was larger I'm than my actual play house. <laughs> yes. Anyway, shall we move on? Yes. Uh, next one is a, so do you like surprises? Yes, as okay. long as I know that they're coming. Well, apparently you and this little girl, Lily, do not have a lot in common. Lily really wanted to know what mom was planning for her birthday. So she wrote dad a note, pretending to be mom. It reads, dear wife, what did you get Lily for a surprise again? I forgot. Please reply here. Love, John. My favorite part is a dear wife, because that's what Lily thinks. <laughs> Houses and what that's, you say. That's how, that's how she thinks that they communicate. All right, so you have a rabbit, you don't have a dog or a cat, but there's this company that has come up with a color that changes um, color itself and gives you a sense of what emotions your pets huh. are going through. So empathy, as it's called, it's a device that visualizes dogs' emotional state. So red apparently means excitement. Blue means relaxed and oh, wow. calm. And for happy, it lights up in a rainbow. I would love to know what Frank's thinking via color color. Probably very angry. I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind getting one for my husband either, know what he's thinking sitting on the couch. I don't know. He, he, I so you're I, saying you have a whole color? I don't know. I like to, I like colors emitting off your neck, so I know exactly what's, what's what the wheels are turning. Angry. Last story: so. Man takes a cat to the prom. Check out this photo. Cute. Couldn't get a date. Took Ruby instead.